It was amazing, man. Trap karaoke, this is an experience like no other. And I never want to do regular ass karaoke again. After this, heck no. Before walking into Trap Karaoke, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Uh, my cousin actually told me about it. She went to the show in Philly a week before me, and um, she was like, yeah, I'm going to Trap Karaoke. And I was like, Trap Karaoke, what's that? She was like, yeah, girl. She showed me the Instagram page and basically showed me that it's a giant concert and you can become your favorite rapper or singer for five minutes and hop on the stage in front of hundreds and hundreds of people and do karaoke. On the Trap Karaoke website, it actually says in the about section, it says Trap Karaoke is like going to church, but instead of Amazing Grace, you're singing Back That Ass Up. <music> Selecting a song, I wanted to take a song that everyone knew, um, something that was really popular, something that was just like super hype and full of life. <laughs> One that I could particularly jump up and down on stage and swing my locks around. The show was Friday night at 9 p.m. and I decided on a song at 2 p.m. on Friday. I picked Waka Flocka, No Hands, a classic. My best friend Danny, this is actually our, our theme song for freshman year. So it was only right that I had her come through and be my hype man. I thought I knew all the words to that song and the only thing I know is a goddamn chorus. <laughs> so I spent the whole day, the whole entire day, listening to No Hands on repeat. Just watching the lyrics video on repeat, on repeat, No Hands. That's the only song I'm listening to today. And you thought I loved that song before? I hate it now. It's going down. I'm super excited. I can't wait. Danny's ready. Right, Danny? I'm ready. The environment in Trap Karaoke, walking into there, was literally like walking into a giant barbecue. It felt like everyone was your cousin. Just for the love of music and the love of black music and black culture, it was just, it was beautiful to be in that room full of that many people. And uh, everyone had different graphic t-shirts that said things about trap music. They let us hang out backstage before the performance. So me and Danny got in a little last minute practice. We were going so hard to put on the perfect performance, so we practiced the words again, we practiced everything. Practicing moves, practicing the different words, we were sitting there, we kept tripping over our words. We were definitely nervous in the back, freaking out, man. Freaking out, for no reason. I am nervous as hell. When they told me I was up next, I panicked. All I could hear was the crowd running. All right, Jay, let's go. I swear, my heart started racing when I heard them call my name. It was my time, so I just swallowed my nerves and ran out there. New York City, what's up? Jay, where are you from? I said New York City, what's up? I'm from Northside, Jamaica, Queens. Okay. Northside, Northside. Jay, do you want to tell the crowd what you're going to do? All right, guys. So, tonight, I'm going to do a classic. It's about 10 years old or so, but it's a walk of flock of joint. You know, back when Waka Flock was in his prime. I'm talking about the heart and the pain days, you know? So tonight we're gonna do No Hands. <laughs> When the crowd went crazy after I said I was doing No Hands, I knew that was exactly the energy I needed to help me get through the performance. I didn't realize how many people were out there until I got on stage, but I tried to ignore that and be blinded by all the lights, the energy, and the adrenaline. I was hyped at hell. I was so hyped, man. When I was sitting there, I was rapping. I felt like I really embraced Waka, and you could really tell I was in the zone. Like, I just started jumping. I didn't even know what to do. I had so much energy, I didn't even know where to start. I was just like, where do I start? Where do I go? Which part of the stage do I jump off first? I was just trying to sell my performance by jumping around the stage with Danny. Yo, Danny was killing it. Danny had so much energy. She was dancing all over the stage. Danny went out there and Danny just threw her whole thing of cash. And I was like, ah. They stressed to me that I had to know all the words in the song and I really underestimated that. You get kicked off stage if you don't know the lyrics when they drop the beat. One of my biggest fears is probably getting kicked off stage from not knowing the words. I brought fake money to distract people from me not knowing the words. I had girls come on stage and twerk while I was rapping because so I didn't know the words. 
and then my jumping long dreads and dancing didn't help either. Not enough distractions. So guess who looked like a fool on stage? This guy. Make some noise for Jay and his bass tonight, please. It's freaking amazing. The crowd was crazy. The crowd was, the crowd was, the crowd was for us. The crowd was pulling us. They loved us. They loved us. I loved them. That was amazing, though, man. Like, I felt like it was mad. It was like. Like mad huge, energy, so mad, much. mad good energy at, at that. And as nervous as we was, like even with us not even knowing all the words, like the crowd was like, the crowd was ready, man. The crowd was amazing. The it crowd was, was everything. Like y'all couldn't find me because she was just, she was on the stage just going ham, bro. I would do it again. I would I'd do, do it, it right now. Encore. Let's go. Let's go. Come, they they want us back up there or not? Nah. Cause I mean I feel like we put on a goddamn good performance, D. It was a great performance. I hit my Dougie. I would do it ten times, ten times more.